In today's lesson, we are going to be exploring the key features of a canal. So we're going to be looking at who built the first canals, why canals were first used in Britain, and how a lock works on a canal. Okay, so let's just take a moment to pause and think back to last week's lesson. Can you remember if a canal is a human or physical waterway? It's a human feature because it was made by humans, so well done if you remembered that. A canal is a waterway or a channel of water and they were built to allow boats to travel across land. Pause for a second and have a think. Why do you think they built canals? To understand this, we need to go way, way back in time to the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution was a period of big changes in the way products were made. It took place more than 200 years ago. In earlier days, people made products by hand. They worked mostly in their own homes or in small workshops. During the Industrial Revolution, many factories were built. Labourers began making large numbers of things using machines powered by enormous engines. These engines were powered by coal, and Britain was producing more coal than any other country. Mining companies needed to get this coal from up in the hills of Newcastle down to the River Tyne, where it would be carried on ships to London. This was not an easy job across all the hills and valleys. They came up with a system using horses. Every day around 2,000 wagons with horses would make the journey back and forth. The more coal they could sell, the more money they could make. But the horse and carts were not efficient enough. The horses got tired and could only go 8 miles an hour. Crashes were common traffic jams were legendary and there was also the lurking threat of the highwaymen. This called for a transport revolution. They had to come up with a better way to move their goods. Can you think of what they did next? Well done if you thought of canals. Canals are man-made rivers. They are deep and wide enough to carry ships. These ships could move up to 25 tonnes of cargo and they made it much faster to deliver mass amounts of coal. Canals have something called a lock. Locks are built in places where the level of the water in the river or canal suddenly changes. They have lock gears which empty or fill the chamber with water. Locks make it easier for boats to travel up and down or for canals to be built across country that is not level.
In the lock, the level of water can be raised and lowered by a system of valves and water passages. If, for example, a boat is travelling from a higher water level to a lower water level, first, an operator nearby will open the lock gates at the high end. The boat will enter the lock and then the lock gates are closed. Next, the lock operator opens one or more valves so that water from the lock slowly drains into the lower section of the canal. When the water from the lock is level with the lower water, the operator opens the gates and the boat sails through. Up and down hill. If the hill was big, they might need to build more than one lock. To take a boat uphill through the locks, we need to drain the water out of the lock so that we can open the gates and let the boat in. To do this, we open some small doors in the gates. These are called paddles. Once the boat is in the lock, we can close the gates and open the paddles at the top end of the lock. This time, there are paddles in the lock gates and in the ground at the side of the lock. The ground paddles will let water back into the lock for an underground pipe called a culvert. Once the lock is full again, the top gates can be opened and the boat can continue its journey. We went to help Bridget and her boat Astra go through the lock. When the lock is full, water pressure on the gate stops them from opening. We're going to use the windlass to open the paddle so the water can come through to the other side. We are opening one gate and John the lock keeper opens the other. Opening paddles to let water out reduces water pressure on the gate. Now the water pressure is lower, the gate can be opened. When the boat is inside the lock, we close the paddles and shut the gate. Next, we open the paddles at the top end of the lock to fill the lock with water again. In the lock. As the water flows in and rises, the boat floats upwards in the lock. <laughs> you can't open it when the water isn't level. When the water is level, pressure on both sides of the gate is equal. Finally, we can open the lock gates and Bridget and her boat can carry on to the next lock. Don't forget to close the paddles. Thank you for watching. For your activity for this lesson, I have found a really great game that you can play at home where you can build your own canal. So I'm going to post the link to the game below and you can see me playing it a little bit here.